it's my birthday well when i post this video it will be my birthday i love doing these birthday soaps they're always so much fun i didn't do one last year but the year prior to that i did a cupcake soap in honor of my birthday we're gonna do birthday cake donut soaps with soap frosting in the middle to hold both halves together and it's gonna be the most magical thing ever i can't wait to get these done and show you so let's get started what we're going to be using today is these fun soap sprinkles i found on etsy the shop's name is birdsong soap super cool cute little sh shop these are vegan which makes me oh so happy uh they don't contain palm oil either so that's a plus everything that's used in here is the same oil as i use my soap so it keeps the label looking nice ah oh, i was so excited when i found them they have the mixed is what what i got then they also have a uh, solid color so, uh, soap sprinkle selections. I thought the, the colorful one was going to be so fabulous for these soaps. The fragrance oil that we're going to use today is Birthday Cake from the Flaming Candle. And it smells so good, y'all. It's just so yummy. It has a nice, strong vanilla cake not overly sweet scent i i just can't wait to use it it just smell it, it smell in my whole room it smells like a birthday cake it's just it's just amazing and then today since the fragrance oil will discolor i'm going to be using cold finger to color the soap and you're thinking what you're gonna use gold in a donut is it gonna be gold no it, this actually turns a really good light baked color. Now, I'm not sure how dark the color, the donuts are going to be. Um, I'm going to use this to kind of even out the discoloration. If it's going to be a light, this is going to keep it light. If I were to use it, you know, obviously a dark mica, it would automatically turn it dark brown regardless of what the fragrance oil is going to discolor it. So I'm hoping this will discolor to a light color and i'm running out by the way if you guys decide to go shopping at mad micas check out the description box below there's my affiliate link down in there so let me gather up my oils and lye my stick blender and my other stuff and we'll get started So my lye solution and my oils are at the same temperature. That means we're good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add the colorant in first because it's going to be a solid color soap. So don't have much of this one left. I really don't need much. That's right, good right there. Put that on the list to buy stuff. Yes. And let's go ahead and mix this up. Oh, if it would only stay like that, right? Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I haven't made soap in like two months, I think. Uh, a little bit more recent than that, but it's been a while. I just this holiday season and a COVID thing and social distancing, trying to be social, but in social distance and wear a mask and just trying to survive. I'm glad we're at the end of 2020. I am slightly fearful for 2021, but it's okay. Everything will be fine. <laughs> so let's add in the lie solution. Scarlet. Come on. So let's begin again. I always feel if I haven't soaked in a while, like I'm doing and I'm missing something. What's up with this? But everything's here. Gonna blend this up really quick. My daughter's in the studio right now holding her ears. <laughs> I 
do too much. See how that turned nice, like baked good color? See that scarlet? Yeah. Looks yeah, it looks young, doesn't it? So I'm going to what was that? It looks like gingerbread. It does. You're right. You're gonna have to keep that in mind for next year. So I'm going to add in the fragrance oil. Let me get my mold set up. I like doing that so I don't like ah gotta speed up if I if I have to. Add in the FO. I love doing the solid color soaps. They make my life so much easier. So what we want to do is to get this a uh, kind of a thicker trace because when we add in those sprinkles, I don't want them just to sink to the top. Even though sinking to the top would be cute, that's not kind of what the look I'm going for. Oh, doesn't it smell good in here, Scarlett? It smells like gingerbread. Yeah, or birthday cake. Yeah. All right, gonna pop that over here. All right, Scarlett, here's your job. Scarlett okay. will be adding in the sprinkles for us. So let's put that glove on the other. Okay, let's uh, do that real quick. This is the perfect consistency. This is exactly what I was looking for. So you're going to take this cup of or liner full of sprinkles and you're going to put it right in there. Like, do I have to go very slowly? Nope, just dump it right in. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to mix those in. It smells delicious in here. I can't help it. <laughs> it does smell really good. Maybe we should add some more sprinkles. Yes. Always, always gotta add more. That's so much fun. You're going to have to give me a, that cake for my next birthday. For your birthday, we'll do a special birthday cake soap with these sprinkles. Oh, we can. Can you pass the beef? All right. Now we need to pour it into our molds. Something I didn't do that y'all should do is put these on a pan so you can smack them down a little easier. I always remember after I start pouring. After I, I always remember after I start pouring. Kind of got a little thick, but that's okay. Just got to smack it down, even it out. I always have a little trouble with my donut soaps. Like, they always are messy. Always. If you like, a, if you like really OCD. My daughter's giving me the thumbs up or giving you all the thumbs up saying that she agrees that I'm very messy. Now she's laughing. Thanks. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian, I guess. soap everywhere. All right, let's smack these down really quick. And there's the mess.
All right, well, I'm gonna clean this up, even these guys out, and I'll bring it back for the close-up. Oh my goodness, they're such a mess. That's totally fine. I'm gonna clean them up, plane them up, make them nice and smooth for tomorrow when we do the frosting. They're gonna sit in the mold for about 24 hours. Should be, should be about right, 18 to 24 hours, and be able to pop them out and add the frosting. Scarlett, do you wanna say something? I hope you have a good day, everybody. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Yes, have a great day. We will see you, well, in a few seconds. Welcome back. It is day two. It's been about 18 hours or so since I poured the soaps. They're hard enough for me, obviously, to pop them out of the mold. And we're getting ready to do the frosting. The frosting recipe is very, very simple. It's a recipe I came up with, and I like it because it sets up really quick. And you will find that recipe in the description box below. Isn't that awesome? So, the tip that I want to use today is, I always love using this one. This is my faves. Is the Atico 849. I hope you guys can see that. I don't have a viewfinder on my camera. So, hoping. <laughs> The Atico 849 tip, I use it like all the time. I have a bunch of them that I bought and I don't ever use them. I just, I use, always use this one. So yeah, I'm going to mix up the soap frosting, let it sit up. And when it's good to go, like bring you guys back. All right, we're back. We're getting ready to frost the donuts and yep. The frosting has set up beautifully. I have the donuts ready to get their frosting and yeah. So let's, let's do this. Now I'm not an expert at Soap frosting. I've only done it a handful of times. I love doing it though. It's so much fun. Definitely have to practice more with doing this. So I'm just going to make blobs I definitely made more frosting than I needed to. That's okay. I'm just going to pipe it into some molds and use this soap dough later. My daughter is in Polk County this weekend for New Year's. My parents are camping out in Polk County. 
for New Year's and my daughter's with them and she's so excited to go play with uh, her friends out there. It's a little too cold for me to go camping, but they're having fun. So I'm going to put the tops on like that. Cute. I love that the frosting is like, you know, squished off to the side. Do a dollop in the center. One. Oh, soap sprinkle. Then I had enough soap batter to make. Oh, I'm just getting frosting everywhere. to make a little cupcake. So I'm going to use up this a cute little gift for my daughter. Take care of that later. Now I'm going to be adding into the Mystic from Mad Micas, which is a biodegradable holographic glitter, which is super shiny. I'll stop shaking it so y'all can see it. I'm going to add this to the top and it's going to look so cute. I haven't actually used this glitter yet and I got it a long time ago. So let's see. on this cupcake. And then we're going to add these cute little soap gumballs on top to make them look like little cherries. Oh. That is just too cute. I need one more for this cupcake. Didn't they just come out so cute? Oh my goodness, I absolutely love that Into the Mystic glitter. Look how shiny and colorful it is. They came out so good. These will be ready at the end of January. I don't have an exact date right now, I'm sorry. Check my website and my Insta and my TikTok. And then, oh my goodness, check out my TikTok. I do a lot of foolishness over there. Um, and yeah. 
And if you like this video, please give a big old thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And hey, and leave me a comment. I'd like to hear from you. See you next time. So, afterthought, I decided to add some sprinkles to the top. Soap sprinkles, of course. So let's put it a little bit. So I ended the video and I'm like, these really need something out. So let's add more sprinkles. We'll add some more here. What do you guys think? Sprinkles or no sprinkles on top? I think the sprinkles are just the perfect little addition. All right. Thanks for watching.